Howdy folks and welcome back once more. Let's play Raven Lovestone Private today. Further hallways full of bullshit, by the look of things. Well as tentative loot. Oh no, I don't know what you're doing. Just fucking stop. No! Give me the loot box! Get out of here, owl man. Yeah, that's certainly some form of voice acting. Is that everybody, or is there more? Oh. Oh. Alright. Oh, no. There was one hiding. Good old magic arrow. Flame arrow. Alright, another seal quarter. Do that. What do we have in here? Oh, another piece. Parchment. And this. Um, I mean, I, I guess we can do like quest items. Can I put a box in a box. No, fair enough. I'm just going to give it to Chunk. Chunk can just carry everything. Okay, good enough, I suppose. Why would they just have that slider in that hallway? It does nothing. It's just like a mild inconvenience. Oh, wait, what? Holy shit, that's a fuckload of minotaurs. Okay. They can burn. That seriously? Wow. Wow, he... Oh, okay, no, it's just because I didn't see him. I was going to say, he killed, like... Five Minotaurs with two burning hand spells, which it's a bit excessive. Oh, this one's this one's pretty thick. Not thick. Good God. Burning hands, man. Spells freaking great. Okay, we have a button. Press, press the button. Button pressed. Opens wall. Minotaur. I'll wait. Flame arrow, you two. Good lord, this... These things are so, like, spastic. Like, some of them are, like, really beefy, and others are super fragile. And then, then you've got the ones that just die to a rogue burning hand spell. This room is full of garbage. Ooh, magic shield. Okay, so it's plus one. Uh, scale mail, non-magical, also bad. Create water, sure, why not? Uh, cure light wounds, I guess, sure, why not? Another Kopesh. Non-magical. That looks... Think about it. So nothing really, nothing too interesting in here. Button, 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 and that looks like about it. All right, let's. That was certainly something, not anything too great, but hey, you know whatever. Not everything's gonna be a winner. This place has been really lucrative, so I'm not gonna bitch too much. It feels like we've gotten a lot of goodies in here thus far. I say that, but it's mostly just been chests, but still, like, feels good, man. I am while my mind is on it. Come in here and I'm going to drop an improved identify for another Agonizers. Purely because I, I had two improved identifies just to kind of get everything memorized. I call it Aganazar's Scorcher. I think it's actually supposed to be Aganazar's Scorcher. But I'm never not going to call it Aganazar's Scorcher because that's just what I've been calling it for forever. So if this if this upsets you, I'm sorry. OK, looking at the map, it, it, it looks like we've mostly cleared out this branch. Let's see about getting out of here. We're probably going to eat at least one. Oh, man, I managed to get through. Purely by the skin of my eSports. Okay. 
Oh no! Sneaky Minotaur's Ice Storm. Shit, they survived. I didn't plan this far ahead. It's okay. Yeah, like, friggin'. Friggin' Might and Magic, Wand of Enemy Detection. Okay, we've we've got some work ahead of us yet. Um, Frickin' Might and Magic has ruined Minotaurs for me. Oh, did we get a key? Apparently we did. Where, like, like in, in the Might and Magic games, a Minotaur will hit you and, like, petrify your characters. Or a very powerful Minotaur will hit you and, like, eradicate your characters. Or they just hit you and it insta-gives you, and you'll note that these things are highlighted like through walls when I'm close to them from the wand. Kind of a nifty effect, but not anything mind-blowing. It's basically like a fancier version of fairy fire. It's one it's fairy fire that works through walls. Oh hey, we got music again. Nice. I like I like music in my video games. Oh, I don't know what that just did. Uh, Cone of Cold. Cone of Cold's gonna just insta-give these guys. I'm sure this probably triggers a fireball or something, but it's just hitting them. Is that a spell effect coming down? Yes, it was. Okay. I'm gonna have to come out. This is, this is, this is terrible. Right, I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do this. Oof. Feels like shit. Scroll of Sacrifice. In this place we lie, eight priests of eight gods, of Geb and Shu, of Horus and Osiris, of Set and Isis, of Nephithius and Anubis. We are theirs. Together our skills we joined in magic and majesty, in dark and light. To the glory of our gods, we the obelisk devised. Under our gaze, the workers came. By dawn they worked the stones, and by the stars they slept. The days passed, the hour came. Slowly our magics wove together and the obelisk arose. From among the workers we chose the strongest, joining their forms with the bodies of our sacred bulls. Thus we created the Minotaurs, the fierce guardians of this, our monument. We in turn sacrificed the power, spirit, and flesh of our lives so that neither the desert nor time itself might ever harm this sacred place. Neat! And here I am. Oh man, look at all of those things. Uh, let's, um, let's have a little nappy. Yeah. Use this thing again just to highlight the bullshit that we are in for here and get our buffs going. Oh lord, this is gonna be an AoE fest. This is gonna be Rove doing all the work. No, just, just fucking stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I know there's a lot of Minotaurs. That's wonderful. Cute. Yes, I love it. Look at them. They're doing strange bull things. Burn. Oh yes, thank you, Rove. One of the walls. One of the walls. Continue cooking there. Wizards, man. Not even once. Man, I wish we could just click on these things. It would be so much better. So much better. Okay, secret door. Where is it, Rove? Point us to it. You don't know. That leads me to believe it's probably in the room. Where is it? Right here. No. Uh so it procs right like here. Hmm. We'll poke around, but yeah, you can see that there are the eight corpses on the ground here. How you know appropriate, I suppose. One of these a button. No. My god, slowly navigate around the corner as I hump the walls. Nothing? There's, there's gotta be like a button or something. Alright, hump the walls. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something in here that'll let us get in there. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Nope. Stop it. Thankfully, these things have trash AC, so we're at least hitting them reliably. Oh, hey, it's more victims. Well, damage. That that damage bonus against large creatures, man. It adds up. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Okay. Scroll of gifts. 
Here we leave what gifts we can, accept our apologies for the poverty of our offer. All has been foretold. You have entered the obelisk and you have come in answer of the prophecy. Of these facts we can be certain. Between our time and yours, none other would have reached this place. The ointments we have gathered for you both heal wounds and counter the effects of poison. No greater shall you find no greater need for these shall you find than when combating the serpents of Set, the foul god. Whatever enemies you may have, count Set and the followers of Set among them. Yay, they left us more more bag space and and additional ointment for the for the sav sack it has been worked oh all right that's apparently everything what else do we have potions that's random all right now now we're, we're gonna have in addition to the sav sack the boxo sav you guys thought the sav sack was top of the line with a box of sav you can put a sav sack in it you're gonna love my box of sav. But is that seriously everything? My disappointment is immeasurable. Loot whore. Burned. It was seriously, where's the secret door at? You fucks. Yes, one of these walls, where? It's not a trap. Yeah. It's gotta be. Do we have any more monsters? Oh yeah, There's, it's like totally, it's one of these walls. Not to mention all this shit over here. All right, how... How is Secret Door found? I do one of these? Do one of these? No. No. Oh, okay, here's one. Is it? Oh, we got secrets and secrets. Yo, dog. You like secrets? I'm gonna save out of pure cowardice and fear. Well, not so much fear. This place has been pretty tame. The most irksome enemies in here have just been the the man scorpions, and they're just kind of mildly annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you just have a button on a wall to open a door and it opens the one on the opposite side? That's just like pure fucking buggery. Stop it. Bad. This room's just like empty. Really? 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 Why? Why would you do this with these shitty fucking wall textures that look like buttons and I don't trust them at all? Is this a secret? No. Hmm. Is there a secret in here? Grove? No. Uh, maybe... Along the wall out here? Like, is this one? No. Is there another one? No. Hmm. Hmm, stop pushing me back, you shits. Let's think. I don't think I ever hit this teleport here. So we'll backtrack to that. Avoid the projectiles. We are walking, and we are walking. We are walking. Okay. Okay. Hey. Oh my god, how did I miss the secret wall? I was even- I was even wall humping, it's just like, no, you, you get nothing. Okay, so this will probably be that other high half then. Maybe. Hello, Minotaurs. Trajan Catman, I give you props. You take a hit. You take a hit real good. Okay. What did that do? 
Nothing appreciable. Although I know that this cell back here isn't explored. That's probably because we just didn't like turn around. Yeah. But I would rather have it mapped than not because I am a, a parent. Oh, okay. I'm a paranoid man. Okay. Same place. So now I want to hit this and see if it takes us somewhere different. It does not. All right. Um, backtrack. Nothing. Hmm. Look at the map. Everything seems. The same. I'm going to come up and check this and we'll go from there. The one downside to this, the movement in this game is that I actually find that I get turned around really easily for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it's occasionally quite disorienting. I don't even remember if I came through this thing, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. We have murdered our way through this. Well, shit. Um. Because, I mean, there's something that might have opened like a secret door somewhere. There might be a secret door in here. Not that we can detect anyways. There might be a secret door out here. No. Not based on the wall humping. Ow. At least those seem to be like just basic magic missile traps. Nothing, anything particularly heinous. Unlike those fucking lightning bolt traps on the floor above. All the dickery that that was. Uh, I'm just going to eat these. We have hit points. He said moments before Rove just gets like absolutely splattered. I don't know. I know if I leave, I, I'm going to end up having to come back here. I know it. I know it. And I'll be so fucking salty about it. This hall here, for whatever reason, really reminds me of, um, uh, Dungeon Master 2, the entrance of Skull Keep. It's purely the placement of these pillars as we walk in. Also, I've kind of had a hankering to play that game. I might play that again after we're done with, uh, after we're done with these games. I just want to stick my nose in here and see if, all right, I just wanted to see if, like, this wall went down. Or anything like that, but no. But yeah, once we finish up with the, the 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 last of these, the whatever of Strahd, Strahd's forgetfulness. Um, I might do another run through Dungeon Master. I had a good time with that. We'll maybe do it with a little bit less of my my standard party. Play something weird. Maybe I'll do another run through of the first game as well. I'll have to see if there's any like, um, neat. I'll have to see if there's any, uh, any things that I can do to hook it up. Oh, oh no, this is, I was gonna say it's a different area, but it's not. No, we still have, I think this over here as well that we never investigated. Um, anyways, like I, I want to, before I do at the very least, if I do Dungeon Master 2, we're going to eat a lightning bolt, aren't we? Eh. Uh, if if I do Dungeon Master 2, I'm pretty comfortable playing that one without a minimap because just the way the game plays, it's not too difficult to like keep up with moment to moment gameplay. 
Uh, but if I do a playthrough of the first one again, I would want to play that with some like mini mapping software or something. I'll have to look around and see if there's anything that you can do that with. I, I'm pretty sure you can use grid cartographer with it. I would just have to get it hooked up, which for whatever reason, I always have so much trouble getting grid cartographer working with uh, with their version of DOS box for whatever reason. It's always just fiddly to set up, but that could be a thing. I've been like half toying with the idea of playing through like Wizardry 6, but that would be a stream game, I think, because those games are like fucking long. Plus, chat would get to suffer with me. I don't really care about water. Neutralized poison, I'll take. Ray's dead, hell yeah. Wand of fire. Man, Rove is just like, he has a fucking arsenal of wands. I kind of love it. Okay. Oh, that's a death's head. I think these things cast fireballs. If I recall correctly. No, get out of here, you. Chill out. Or no, they, they explode when they die, don't they? I remember these things have a stupid, obnoxious gimmick. Do you explode when you die? Yeah. Okay. Silly. Okay, so do we have... I don't think we have this key yet, do we? No. All right. Can we pick the lock? Look at... Oh, shit! We have aired! The herds march upon us! That's okay. They burn just as well as anybody else. No. No. Stop it. God fucking damn it. You're lucky I've got your poison memorized. Sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, I remember. I remember this room. Like, we got in here and we got stuck. I think in my last playthrough. I, like, I got in and I couldn't figure out how to get out. I hope that I've popped this lock. It won't be an issue this time. Yeah, I specifically remember this room with the fucking lightning traps and shit going all over the place. Yeah. That's a death head. Where are you? You just straight in. I think I saw him over there. Wait for more lightning bolts. Let him illuminate. Maybe. Yes, no. Fucker's like right there. Oh, fucker's lobbing lightning bolts at me, you piece of shit. I'm coming for you. Right, I know you're not particularly... I know you're not particularly chonky in melee. Yeah, I want to be I want to be careful with that room. We'll poke around a little bit first. There's like pit traps and all kinds of horrible things. You fucking God. Stop doing that, man. My aging heart can't take it. It's damn old games and their jump scares. Get around the corner. Ah, oh, we're good. Let's break line of sight. Okay, nothing immediate here. Um, this just kind of continues on. Oh, we have a secret wall. Where is it? I have no idea where that is relative to me, but okay. Yes, I get it, Chunk. I'm literally walking through the wall. Uh, fireball. Oop. Ha ha! Stopped by the invisible, well, the illusory wall. That's some cheesy bullshit right there. I fucking love it. Potion of speed. I mean, it's not a bad get. Oh, this is probably important, though. And there's a, a symbol of a doggo. Is that set? Or is that Anubis? I think Anubis is the dog, right? No, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. Nope. At least they give you places where you have line of sight, like the ability to break line of sight with these things. Like if you're going to make a, a shitty enemy that throws fucking projectiles at you and it dies, at least have the decency to give the player the ability to break line of sight. And they do. It's weird playing good games. 
Oh, Rove, you got one hit point left, don't you, buddy? Two. Cutting it close. Have a healing potion. Actually use my consumables. I hate it. I hate it. We're supposed to hoard them, not use them. Is there one around the corner? I bet you there is. Of course there is. You son of a bitch. Fucker, goddamn Jesus ass. Ah, man, we're out of healing, aren't we? Oh no, we got a heal scroll. Anyway, we're, we're good. Wasting it. Wasting a heal spell on Rove. Actually, how are we looking on levels? Uh, ooh, it looks like Ket actually just leveled. Hell yeah. Racteur's doing good. I love Chunk, the 11 thief levels, though. That's that's pretty thick. And Rove, he dinged last episode, I think. But we should have fifth level cleric spells. Yeah, hell yeah. So now we can raise the dead as needed. Uh, true seeing of these is probably going to be the most useful, but I'm taking cure critical wounds because hit points. Your first level and drop slow poison. Take I take draw dexterity actually because I'm curious to see what's his. Is, does he have the bracers of dex on? He doesn't. So I, I think we can get he'll be like at a negative five. I think a uh, negative four. Thick lad. Okay, we have a teleporter. We have more bullshit. I don't know how Rove avoided that one, but I'll take it. Oh, I'm not going to avoid that one. Got stuck on the wall. A for effort. Fucking hate. I hate. I hate. I hate. Oh, I, I keep accidentally clicking things. Oh, hey, it's the key to that lock that we picked earlier, because this is an, a dungeon crawler that actually gives Steve something to do. Okay. Having a nap. Get our buffs running. Okay. And I think on that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a couple minutes early. But if I had to guess, this is probably just going to teleport us back over to here, and we got to do this, and I'm... I am not at all in the headspace to deal with this amount of bullshit in this episode. So, as usual, folks, thank you for watching. Hope you all had a good time, and I will see you all next time wherein Pappy Ghost is going to have a bad day. Until then! Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series, see if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, via the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.